Today we're going to look at the Atlas LCR40, which we offer here at Anatech. LCR40 analyzes inductors, capacitors, and resistors, hence the abbreviation LCR. Uh, one of the beauties of it is you don't have to know what the device is you're going to check. LCR40 figures it out for you. Let's take a look here. I've connected it to this resistor. And it gives me the resistance 51.3 ohms. That's pretty simple. Let's get a little more complicated here. Here we have a large electrolytic capacitor, 1000 microfarad, it says. Here's the capacitor being tested. Analyzing. Gives a capacitance 982.6 microfarad. A little arrow over in the corner indicates there's more information. Tells you what the test frequency is, which in this case is DC. Large capacitors, LCR40 uses DC to measure them. Let's go to a smaller capacitor and see what it does. This one's marked 473. 47 puff. Here we go. I'm sorry, I said that wrong. It was 47 nanofarad. Measured 40.08 nanofarads. More information. Test frequency is 1 kilohertz. LCR 40 can uh, change its test frequency to match the component being tested all the way from DC to 200 kilohertz. And it tells you what that frequency is. Let's, let's try an even smaller capacitor. Here we go. This one's marked uh, 103, 10 nanofarads. Measures 7.132 nanofarads. And now the test frequency is 15 kilohertz. The smaller the capacitor gets, the higher the frequency goes to test it. So that you can get an accurate reading. Let's move on to an inductor. There's a big toroid I've got here. I have no idea what the inductance of it is. Here's the, here's the toroid. Let's take a look. Inductance of 218.9 microhenries. The DC resistance is 4 tenths of an ohm. Good thing to know. And the test frequency LCR40 used was 200 kilohertz. As I mentioned, you don't have to know what the component is. Is this a resistor or an inductor? Well, I happen to know, but I'm not going to tell you. But maybe I don't know. LCR40 will figure it out. It's an inductor, 101.8 microhenries, probably a nominal 100 microhenries. There's a DC resistance of 6 tenths of an ohm, and it used a 200 kilohertz frequency to measure it. So a very handy tester is LCR40, and you can get, it comes equipped with these nice little grabber clips. zoom out here a little bit you can see it a little better and those plug into these two millimeter banana plugs and you can get tweezers for SMN SMD devices that plug right in like so. Now when you change the probes, you probably ought to compensate the LCR40 to eliminate 
the resistance, the inductance, and capacitance of the probes from all your readings, so you get an accurate reading. You do that by pressing and holding on test. It's, it tells you it's going compensation. It says short the probe, so I'll pull them short here. Now I'll open them. Okay, so now LCR40 remembers the characteristics, inductance, capacitance, resistance of these probes and will deduct that from any measurements it makes so you have an accurate measurement. So when you change the probes again, you want to repeat that compensation to keep it absolutely accurate. Very nice gadget, this LCR40.